Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. <clears throat> if you're new here, I'm Jamie. This will be a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Obviously, it won't resonate for every single one of you. Only take it if it does. Remember that there is no gender. If I pull a queen, I could be talking about anyone. It's all about their personality style. The gender just doesn't matter. All the information for private personals is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. You'll also find in there all of my donation uh, information and obviously a service menu for private personals. Sun, interesting. Leo energy, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Swords. First of all, <clears throat> this is a lot of people. I mean, to each their own, but, you know, it seems like, you know, you're kind of starting to figure out that somebody new that you're talking to is talking, I think, to a bunch of other people. Um... What's interesting, though, is I feel like this person keeps it real, that, like, maybe they're not looking for something very, like, serious. They, you know, I don't know. They could be in, like, one connection that's, like, a committed relationship. And then also, you know, there's this other energy here. Or this could be reversed. This could be you. It could be, like, you in a committed relationship. And then there's kind of, like, other people that you talk to, you know? No judgment. So I'm not the Queen of Swords because I'm confused. Like I just have a bunch of face cards here. The Seven of Pentacles, the Magician. So it could be a Gemini or a Virgo person. The Seven of Cups. Like somebody that you're talking to either is in a situation where you know someone is like messing around on them or something but they're still like in that relationship or like this is something that they do or maybe they have an open relationship something here but I feel like 
the problem here on your end is that like this wasn't like brought up up front this wasn't like an upfront thing like maybe this is not something that you know <laughs> you were interested in i don't know i feel like there's like this person has a lot of options they like i don't know it seems like a lot of people like them but the queen of pentacles Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Page of Wands. Maybe they deal with somebody who <clears throat> is in a relationship or something like that. I don't know. I think for each of you, it's different. It's just important to know that, like, whoever you're talking to, like, there's a lot of people in the mix, you know? I don't know if they're, like, in a, if they deal with somebody who's in a relationship, like, they're willingly, like, a third party in someone else's relationship. So, like, technically, they're single, but they do wild shit, um, <laughs> you know? Or, you know, if this is someone who doesn't care, I don't know if people are in relationships or something that's really it's like a very open energy i feel like this queen of swords is like you know they're not <clears throat> like a bad person or something. i feel like they're a very open person if that makes sense who's the king of pentacles the nine of wands the hermit or the lady strength leader energy So maybe whoever they were dealing with had to like cut them off because they got found out or maybe you you've been found out or something i don't know how this is resonating but For some of you, it could be like you've kind of been talking to somebody and it's not like anything serious, but you are in a relationship. And it's like kind of being <laughs> found out that you're like, you know, secretly like hiding in conversations while you're like in a relationship. Maybe this is warning somebody that like, you know, somebody's on that ass, like they're paying attention here. So I'm kind of getting the energy of like, you know, one person is, it's like polar opposites too with the sun and the moon. It's like one person is like <clears throat> really cold. Like they don't, you know, they don't get that deeply invested in their feelings. They're more like open, you know, they, it's sword energy. And then you have this other person who's like deeply emotional and this will affect them in a whole different way. For others of you, it's like meeting somebody new and there's a problem with this person because, you know, they have trust issues because they like fucked with somebody who like was married or like in a whole relationship they lie about or something, you know? <clears throat> there's, there's like something just strange here with the energy around relationships, but I feel like something is coming out with the sun and the moon. So if this is something you're hiding, just understand somebody's on your ass, they're going to find some shit out. <laughs> Or you're on somebody's ass. Find out your partner's like dealing with a whole ass married person or something, you know? Um, maybe for some of you it's not even that deep. Maybe for some of you it's like... There's a mediator here. Like, like the Queen of Swords is sometimes like a lawyer or something too. So it could be something like that. But I feel deeply like this is someone like about to get in with, to something with someone that they like don't know this person. Like <clears throat> they just might not match your vibe. 
<laughs> and it might be something that you think you want in the moment, but then later, like, you know, it's like an ego crash or something. I feel like the Queen of Swords is pretty, like, loose or open, you know? Um, and maybe not what you're looking for. What do they need to know about the out for the world? Sorry, the King of Wands, the Magician, the Fool, Aquarius Energy, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're, you you might have went out and like met yourself just a hot mess. I'm not gonna lie. Like what you need to be aware of is this person like they partake in like foolish ass behavior. They're kind of manipulative though. <clears throat> but I mean this in like an exploitive kind of way. I don't know. You're about to find out somebody is like something very different than what you thought they are. Very different. I don't mean this in a good way. Like, I feel like this person, they already make you, like, you need to pay attention to your feelings surrounding this person. Like, if you start feeling really anxious or, like, something isn't right, just really pay attention to that. Because there's some, like, weird behavioral shit or, like, weird parts of stories that don't add up. Like, two and two is not happening with this person. You have to listen to how they're, like, talking about something. You're going to realize, I think, that this person is, like, one is not only are they, like, kind of, I think, crazy, but they're, like, really fucking stressed out over some other situation here. Like, <laughs> they're not really going to get into something new. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, this person, you know, came to you in this, oh, my God, you know, like, yeah, I get it. Like, my partner cheated on me or whatever and blah, blah, blah. And you ate up this sob story and there's, like, all this attraction and, like, all this chemistry going on. But I feel like this person just does this with people. Like, they hit people with sob stories and get whatever they want out of them. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really, like, I got some sociopathic tendencies here. Like, people are, like, you know, like, love is, like, love objects to them. You know, people that can give them what they're looking for. <clears throat> Huge warning though with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, like... <laughs> I kind of getting the energy that some of you don't know that you're about to get like sucked in by someone that will just spit you the fuck out like i mean this so like if this is some like weird like i'm kind of getting for the vibe too for some of like and this is i'm going to say this for the older folks just because the younger kids like know about this stuff but like some older ladies like if there's like gentlemen talking to you on the internet or something like please don't fucking send these people any money like especially if they hit you with some soft story no <laughs> But for others of you, this is like a person that you've been like in contact with for a while. You feel like, you know, you like this person. You like how they talk and how they act like, you know, very nonchalant. They don't care about anything and they're like super open and non-judgmental. But you don't know that they're actually like a sneak. What's the advice here?
Priestess, the Empress, the Knight of Swords, Death. I feel like the advice is get the f out of there. <laughs> I feel like there's something that's gonna, like, you're gonna realize something about this person anyway with the sun and the moon, but, like, you need to really pay attention to your intuition in that situation, because I feel like this person's, like, really attractive and really knows how to, like, talk people into things or, like, make people feel really special. I don't think you're understanding, though, that this is, like, their job. This is how they get by. They have other people spun up in this web. If somebody is too good to be true, be careful, okay? <laughs> this is a uh, type of energy. Okay, I'll see you guys soon.